Hey guys, Shadney back with another process video for my Colorado Wednesday series where I am showing you how I do an album entirely from start to finish. So in this layout today, um, I've got two smallish photos. They're probably a little bit smaller than three by four. And I'm using my one and a half inch Stampin' Up! punch, circle punch, um, and just a bunch of the six by six papers and scraps from my stash. And um, I'm just punching a bunch of circles. I'm gonna do kind of a right side heavy kind of focused layout today. And um, I'm gonna punch a bunch of circles and do those down the side and then do um, a couple border strips down the side as well. So um, fast forward, now I'm pulling out um, a, a piece of 12 by 12 paper that was in my stash and I'm just cutting a very narrow, like maybe half inch strip. And then um, I'm going to pull out a piece of paper that was torn out of one of the um, Snap albums, if you remember those. Um, so it's already got that like um, spiral bound kind of edge. And um, I just trimmed probably like half an inch plus the spiral. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and punch a circle out of that too, just to tie that color in a little better. And um, I add a strip of washi tape. It's like kind of a wider, dark, corally pink kind of color, um, just to give it, so that whenever the spiral piece is over it, you can see the dimension of it a little bit better, if that makes any sense. Um, I did trim off a tiny strip of that and it's just because there was a weird color on one end and just to get rid of that color so the whole strip is blue and then I adhere that spiral strip down and then the navy half inch strip and then um from there I'm just going oh I'm roughing up the spiral pieces a little bit just to give them a little bit of texture. Um, I do go ahead and adhere my photos together just so that they're easier to move around as one solid piece. And then I'm just starting to arrange my circles. I'm going to do, I think, three lines of circles. And I'm just kind of moving them around and trying to decide where I want them. And also trying to keep them fairly evenly spaced, but also... Um, the colors where they're not too close together. I mean, sorry, where light colors aren't too close together. I'm trying to keep them kind of spread out. So like that, the there's like several oranges. I'm trying to keep those not right next to each other or anything like that. Um, I add a couple more and then not realizing it didn't really make any difference because when I add the photos it covers up a few of them anyway so it didn't really matter but it's fine just messing around and trying to decide where I want them so I'm going to scoot them all over a little bit more to the right just to keep everything very right balanced no right weighted I don't whatever the phrase would be and kind of um, playing with things just to see what is going to be hidden so that I don't, what colors I want hidden or not. Um, and then I'm going to start adhering them down. And what I did was, <laughs> in my head, I wanted to um, just lightly tack them down. And then I was going to stitch down the strips um with my sewing machine and when I went to do that um I realized that I had no thread left and I um couldn't find my white thread so right now what I'm doing is I'm sticking them down with dotted adhesive because I feel like it's easier to run through on the machine like it doesn't gum up the needle as much I don't know if that's true it's just in my head that that's true 
So I adhere them all down with this dot adhesive and then I don't end up stitching down the circles because I have no thread or I have no white thread. I don't want to pull in another color of thread when I've already stitched. I don't know if I've already stitched in my, in this album. I could have looked, but it's fine. Whatever. Um, so I just end up, the adhesive is what it is. So if, if I wasn't planning on stitching, I would have used my normal Stampin' Up! adhesive, but that's why I'm using a weird one. Anyways, I'm gonna fast forward because this is boring. Okay, those are all stitched down. I mean, not stitched, sorry, adhered down. Blech. Um, I pull out the yellow, I think it's called mustard, but I can't remember. Um, Heidi Swap Color Shine, and I do a bunch of splatters across just right where my photo is and to the left, because I'm gonna do my title out to the left clean up my mess um and then uh oh I was trimming off a piece of the circles I couldn't figure out what I was doing <laughs> um I am going to cut down a piece of fun foam and adhere it to the back of the photo just to pop the photo up a little bit I if you've not been around very long I like a lot of dimension on my pages so I almost always pop my photos up with foam um, and foam's really nice because obviously it's super cheap and you get a lot out of it. Um, it covers really well. It, if you use a full sheet of fun foam behind your photo, there's no worry about your photo sagging and, um, it's a really thin layer. So you get dimension without going overboard. So now I'm just pulling out some chipboard alpha thickers um and I'm going to spell out the word breakfast I think yeah because it'll be great wolf breakfast is the title um so I'm doing breakfast and just trying to make sure my letters are all different colors I really love thickers like this but it's really hard to use I feel like a lot of times because they need to you need to be able to use a lot of colors or not a lot of letters in order to get the colors you want. Um, I think this pack, I do have two packs so that maybe you can finagle around and get the colors you want. But the way this layout worked out, it worked out really well that I could use all the colors because I have all the colors used in my background. So I go ahead and I'm just kind of moving that around making sure it is where I like it and I pull out these navy tiny thickers um to spell out great wolf and then whenever I get those on um I will pull I will blah, 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 sorry my brain is not working with my mouth when I get those oh I forgot to mention I did I'm putting these on a piece of wax paper so that I can move them around on the layout before I adhere them down so that's why I did that. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere my photo down before I start sticking alphas down. And then um, because they are chipboard, I will obviously use glue, liquid glue to adhere them down. My favorite liquid glue is Nuvo. I think it's called Deluxe Adhesive. It's it's just the Nuvo wet glue and it's amazing. Um, if you're looking for one, this is where it's at. <laughs> it dries fairly quickly. It's clear and it's got a fairly small nozzle so you don't have to try to transfer it into one of those fine tip bottles. It doesn't need that because you can just use the regular bottle. It's amazing. Um, so I've get those all out of here down and then I pull out the Heidi Swap Wolf Pack puffy stickers and stick one of those little wolves down next to Great Wolf. He just fit in perfectly with the G like it was meant to be. Um, so I pulled out a little tab, label tab from Iris from um, Whimsy Fox Crafts. Her stuff is amazing if you 
like cool stuff. Um, <laughs> she's a small business and I like to shop small. I also pull out some epoxy flare from Scrap and Happy Studios, another small business that's really awesome and she has really awesome stuff. So check her out as well. Um, and I'm just going to start adhering things down. I was going to use the, the glue on the back of these flares, but they are, um, made using photo paper. And I've heard that it can mess up the image, um, if you use liquid glue. So I just use my tape runner or a pop dot, like foam dot or anything like that. Um, I've not had any issues in the past with that, but I don't know for sure that I've used liquid glue with them before, so I'm not, I don't know. Um, I did pull out these chipboard, sti chipboard stickers from um, Becky Higgins Project Life, and I'm just adding a bunch. Um, I originally wasn't planning on adding something to every single circle, but that's what I end up doing. <laughs> so um, I just start adding things where I like them and then I it just keeps going and going. So I end up with something on, I think, every single circle, which is fine. I think it adds a lot. I mean, you'll see obviously at the end, but I really like the, um, like kind of the movement of the page once it's all together and on there. I feel like it adds a lot to the layout and it's a lot of texture and dimension where I was kind of sad that I didn't get that texture and dimension from the stitching of the circles and like popping them up a little bit, but that is fine because this worked out perfectly. So I um, added some little metal stars and I'm adding some little um, tiny word stickers and then I think I'm adding wood. Oh no, I'm adding some more of these puffy stickers from the Heidi Swap Wolf Pack. A little paw print. And the other one was like a little steel, and I can't remember what it said, but it was very small. Um oh, and then some little puffy stars as well. Um just a couple more chipboard pieces, and then I fill in the date no I don't I didn't fill in the date I can't remember what I put there at the top but then I go ahead and add my journaling down here to the bottom um and just talking about how we we ate breakfast at Great Wolf um lodge where we were staying when we were in Colorado and it was fairly expensive but it really wasn't any more expensive than anywhere else we were eating and it was nice to be able to just wake up and go downstairs instead of having to get dressed and go out and all that um so that is just what that was and then I pull out my Nuvo drops and you can see my little chart there I was trying to decide what colors coordinate well so I use three different colors and then I will just add some drops sporadically around the page so that is pretty much it that's my layout so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please hit like and leave me a comment um it really helps put my videos out there it tells YouTube that you liked what you watched so it will show it to more people so that is always appreciated if you want to see more please hit subscribe and hit that bell notification so you actually are notified whenever I post new videos instead of not getting notified which I don't understand why they don't but whatever um thank you guys come back tomorrow I should have another process video and have a wonderful day and happy scrapping.